Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate a marker trigger in Blipper AR. So previously we've done a video on how to trigger an event using a on click or a timed event. This is specifically looking for a marker. This image, this map is looking for it. When it scans it, an event will be triggered. So I'm going to flip this over. And this is the image it's looking for. I'm going to scan it. There you go, it's been scanned. Now the video will start playing. Expect some cloud cover moving in this afternoon, but temperatures will remain mild throughout the week. And once the video finishes, another image will trigger at the end of the video and the sound clip. So that's a combination of sound and video triggering after a marker has been scanned. Okay, so how do we create a marker AR? Project. So I'm going to create a new project here, give it a name, marker AR. Um, and here are the four options I've showed previously. Uh, we've done a surface one before, um, and this time I'm going to use AR marker. AR presents on top of printed images, examples you can use it for your product packaging. So you can have a product and then when you scan a product a information pops up posters and magazines people see it in the hallway um, hover their screens their phones and see information images or video can pop up even documentation so i'm going to select this and here is asking us to um, put our um, marker what do we want to scan to initially start our um, trigger. So um, I've already got a pre-made image here. I'll drag that in. It's a uh, weather image. Uh, you can add 10 markers if you want. Uh, but we're going to use this one at the moment. Okay, so it shows you the trigger. This will not be sh uh, shown when off at the uh, after the trigger is run, it's only for what you're looking for as a trigger. Okay, so I'm going to add some assets. So um, I'm going to add a video. This is a weather video. And I'm going to add that to the project. I'm going to put it to the middle. I'm going to enlarge it a bit. And then I'm going to move it forward a bit away from the back so that's just moving on the z-axis away from the background a bit so it's a bit closer and um we could preview it and that will be there straight away but that's not what we want we want it to be triggered when an item is scanned so this video is there straight away we don't want that what we want is it for it to be triggered only when um, this image is scanned so i'm going to go to toggle actions and events and on scene start i'm going to find the show and hide i'm going to drag this on to hide and i'm going to click on the video so on scene start hide the video so now when we test uh preview it sorry the video should not be there at all we only want it to appear when we scan the object we want let's customize it now so now i'm going to do look for marker on marker when it's been tracked or scanned as you can say i want it to show so i'm going to drag this put it from to show so try to make this a bit neater it does get a bit messy here so trying to keep it organized is a good way i'm going to actually add a weight before the image appear the video appears as i've noticed sometimes it doesn't work if you try to play the show the video straight away so i'm going to wait three seconds And then I'm going to show the video. I'm going to test this out now. 
All right, so let's test this out now. Um, so we can use test on device, which can give you a QR code that's valid for 20 minutes. And we can test it on a device. Okay, so I'll scan the QR code on my phone. Opens up a web app, uh, which uses your camera now to create the augmented reality. And it's looking for the image and it shows you a little image in the middle to demonstrate what it's looking for. So at the moment, nothing's playing. You can't find the image. I'm going to turn over this image and I'm going to scan it. And you should pick up the image. You need to get the right angle. There we go. It's been scanned. Three seconds later, the video pops up. So this is exactly what we wanted. Okay, back to Blipper. So what I'm going to do now is um, going to play the video after it shows. So what we're going to do there is look for another one called video and it's called a video controller. And that would, when it shows, I'm going to drag on to play. And then I'm also going to add the audio because there's no audio at the moment. So I'm going to add the audio to to the file projects. We don't need to drag that onto the screen. We just need to go to find the uh, audio controller. Drag the audio controller in and select the file. It's an MP3 file I've got here. And then on show again for that, I'm gonna play both of that. So I'm going to test that out now. Okay, so I'm um, going to try to test that out now. So I'm going to scan the image. This time the video and audio should play at the same time. Just scanning it now, just get it to the right angle. There we go. One. Expect some cloud cover moving in this afternoon, but temperatures will remain mild throughout the week. Perfect. So as you can see, the video and sound play at the exact same time, sync it up and after a image has been scanned as a trigger. Okay, what's left? So now I'm going to demonstrate um, how to get the video to now disappear. And then I'm going to open up a image when the video has and the audio has finished playing. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get another hide I could use the hide one on the left, uh, this one, but it just gets a bit messy. So I prefer to use the second one. Um, so so hide, hide the video. So on finish, can you see that it's got on loop or on finish? We can click on hide. And this should hide the video. And then I'm going to add another asset. I'm going to add an uh, image to the this is a larger image, just a, just a random image. And I want to show this image on finish as well. So I'm going to put a, um, another show hide. This time select the second image. I'm going to put that onto the screen. Here we go. It's very big. And I'm going to choose the large map and on finish, I'm going to show this map. So hopefully now nothing's on the screen. I scan the background image, the video and audio play at the same time after a wait of three seconds. Then it hides the video and it after that it shows the map when the video has finished. One annoying thing about Flipper is sometimes when you're moving, uh, you might lose where your um, code is. So a good thing button here is this frames selected nodes in window. It brings all your code back. So I'm going to test this code now on device using the QR code. Okay, so here we go, testing it out. I flip the image, scan it again. So we've got it online as best as possible. There we go. Oh, I've made a mistake. Cover moving in this afternoon, but temperatures will remain mild throughout the week. That background image, the, the world map, uh, should only appear after the video plays, so I've forgotten to hide it. 
and go fix that now. Okay, so my mistake was not to hide the map. So if you do preview here, you can see straight away the big map should not be there. Um, but it is. Um, so how do we fix this? So I've already got on scene start here. I could go here and drag it to hide, but I'll, I don't like it being so messy. So I'm going to grab another one on hide here and put that as hide. And that should hide. So if we preview this now, and we should not see the big map straight away. Yeah. But with the preview, you can't really scan anything. So we've got to test on device with a camera. Which I'm going to do now. Okay, now testing the new edited for the large map not here. Scan it. It should scan it. Go. Three, two, one. Expect some cloud cover. Video plane. With some plane. But temperatures will remain mild throughout the week. Video finishes. The large map appears. Exactly how I want to do it. Here's a final code. Um, I've had some issues previously where I've done the exact same code and it was just not working. One issue I had was that the video was too close to the canvas. So moving it forward on the Z axis got it to work. Another issue was playing it straight away without a weight. It didn't work. So that was another issue solved with a weight. And a final issue I had was even with all of this code exactly as I've displayed it now, it still didn't work. It worked sometimes, sometimes didn't. So at one point, it just stopped working completely. It would not work no matter what I tried. I had to delete all my assets, delete the whole project and start from scratch, even though I did the same exact code as you see here. Only way to fix it was to start again from fresh, but it did fix the issue so that's it for me um, that is um, how to do use trigger as a marker and then using a video controller audio controller to play both at the same time and then also to hide the video and trigger something else on finish uh, any questions you can comments